Hey everyone, it's Kyra and welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to achieve this really gorgeous brown smoky eye with the pop of gold glitter in the inner corners. This look was actually really simple and easy to achieve, so stay tuned for how I achieve this look. So first we're going to start off by priming our eyelids using the MAC Lay and Low Paint Pot and then we'll move on to applying Soft Brown by MAC as a transition shade. Next, we're going to take Morocco from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture Palette and apply that to the crease area. And we'll place this right under Soft Brown and kind of blend those two out um, and also just build up the intensity of the Morocco shade. After you've applied Morocco to the crease, you're going to take the e.l.f. Dark Brown Gel Liner and just place that all over the lid as the base for the next eyeshadow we're going to use. Now taking a fluffy blending brush, you're going to just go ahead and blend out that gel liner that we just applied to the lid and just really, really take your time with blending it out so that way all of the colors really blend flawlessly together. And also make sure that you're really just focusing on blending that color into the crease and not bringing it too far up into the transition area. So next we're going to take the color Fudge from that same Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and just apply that all over the lid on top of that e.l.f. gel liner. And then of course go ahead and blend it all out and just wipe up any excess fallout. So for now, I'm going to move on to the face, and we're first starting off by applying our Becca, our favorite Becca Ever Matte Primer, and then going in and filling in those larger pores with the Benefit Professional Primer. For foundation, I'm going to be using the MAC Seal Fix Fluid in NC45. Um, I first apply it with my fingers and then blend it out with the Beauty Blender. To highlight my under eye area, I'm going to be applying the NARS Biscuit Creamy Concealer. Um, and just applying that right under my eyes, the cupid's area, bridge of my nose, and my forehead. Um, but I did go ahead and blend out the under eye area first and set that so that it won't crease and then moved on to the nose and the forehead area. And to set the concealer, I'm using the Sasha Buttercup Powder. And y'all, this is the bomb.com. I think I said it before, but I'm going to say it again. This stuff is so awesome. It is so finely milled that it just sets perfectly. So now I'm going to set the rest of my face using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Deep. And I'm taking a fluffy brush and applying that all over my face. To add some more color back into my face, I'm going to apply the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW48. I'm kind of just to warm up my face. I'm just going to apply it to the hollows of my cheeks and just around my forehead. And again, this just really adds in color back into the face and sets up a good base for your contour and once that's done just go ahead and dust away that excess powder that we had sitting there and baking while we finished our face now to further define my cheekbones i'm going to apply the covergirl ebony bronze bronzer um right in the hollows of my cheeks and we you guys know alicia and i have been using this product faithfully for a while since last summer i believe and it has never done us wrong y'all now for blush, I'm applying Raisin by MAC and it's taking a large uh, stippling brush and just applying it really lightly to the apples of my cheeks. Now for my highlight, I'm using the Lorac Tantalizer mixed with a little bit of MAC Global Glow, which is my holy grail, one of my favorite uh, highlighters that I've been using for a while now. And it's mixing those two and applying those to my nose and cheek areas. And then here I am just going in and further contouring my nose with that same Ebony Bronze Bronzer. Now moving back onto the eyes, I'm going to first line my waterline with the white uh, gel liner from LA Girl. It is their gel glide eyeliner pencil and I actually really like their gel liner pencil just because they are extremely creamy and extremely pigmented. 
after you're done with that, you're gonna apply that same Morocco and fudge eyeshadows right along the lash line and really just smoke that out and get it as intense as you want it to be. So now as you can see, I've actually gone on and did my hair and gotten dressed. Um, and I just focused on kind of smoking out that under eye eyeshadow a little bit more. So now that I have my lashes on also, I'm gonna go ahead and line the lash band with my NYC Black Liquid Liner, just to kind of make sure that you can't see the lash band at all. And of course, adding some mascara for volume. So now for the fun part, you can actually go ahead and wear this look just as it is without the gold glitter, but I just thought that the look was missing just a little something, and I figured that the gold glitter would be a really nice pop to this look. So I went ahead and took the NYX gold crystal gold liner um, that you can get at Ulta or anywhere else that sells NYX and it's apply that in the inner corner area and this just adds a really nice quick and easy pop of gold to any look. I also took just a smidget of that liner and applied it on top of the lid area and just lightly dabbed it and then blended it out with my finger to kind of just create a really nice gold reflex on the lid. As you guys can see, this gold glitter is actually really, really easy to work with. Um, and it takes out the guesswork of, you know, mixing glitter with glitter adhesive and all that. It's just one quick, easy step. So for the lips, I wanted a very soft and natural look. So I took my cork lip liner by MAC and paired it with my Sushi Kiss lipstick by MAC and applied that over the lips to achieve a very gorgeous, balanced look. So after you fix your hair and everything is good to go, we are finally done. Here's the final look, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this makeup tutorial, and I will see you all in the next video.